Hey guys, welcome back. So, <laughs> I almost fell off my damn chair. Anyways, so speed of nostalgia, just like I said in the, in the previous video with the uh, the guillotine cover by Lindsay Ray and Lauren, um, I'm gonna explore more of Ronnie's stuff now. When Ronnie had his new band Fall in Reverse, I didn't really care much for it. I did like him a lot in Escape the Fate. I know there's some things with Ronnie here and there I'm not going to discuss because it's not my place and I don't really care. Um, but I think he's a great vocalist. I really do. I, he's got a unique voice. Um, you know, for a while I was kind of embarrassed. Like, yeah, I like Escape the Fate and just kind of did one of these things for a while. But I don't care no more. It's nostalgia stuff, man. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. That word just doesn't get old when he said, okay, it probably does get old every time we say it. Anyways. So, yeah. Uh, my buddy Zach showed me this video that he did, or not he, not, not not him, Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie did a reimagining of the drug in me. The drug in me is you, from his band Escape the uh, from Escape the Fate, <laughs> from his band Fall in Reverse. Um, and it, honestly, I heard a little bit of it. I didn't watch the whole video with him, um, but I'm gonna do a whole video with it and do a reaction and see how it sounds and see how you guys like it. I know it's old. Excuse me. Well, not old, but it came out, I think, back in February, it said. Something like that. I don't know, it, it, it came out a little while ago, but I think it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. So let's uh, let's take a listen to the uh, reimaginative version of The Drug in Me Is You by Fallen in Reverse. There we go. See, his, his vocals are really good, like, he's got that range, that good, good range. Gives this song, it gives a different feel with it being orchestrated with piano, a totally different feel than the original song. Like I said, my friend, I feel, I feel like this could fit in a Tim Burton movie, you know, it's got that Tim Burton, Edward Scissorhands feel. It, it does. It gets it gets a very different feel, doesn't it? It just it's it just hits you hits you in, in a in a interesting spot in the emotion and in the emotion spectrum. I knew he's a vampire. I knew it. It happens all the time. I can't believe I'm actually meant to be here. Trying to consume the drug in me is you. And I'm so 
got a piano solo. I'm digging it. Yeah. That's one instrument I, didn't, I never knew how to play. I want to figure it out though, eventually. Not a tear, my eyes twitching. Don't judge me. Okay. Full surprises, huh, Ronnie? Yeah, full surprises. I, I, I like that. That was that was definitely a hell of a lot different than uh, what he normally does. Definitely for sure. It was um, an interesting twist on what he has done in the past. I know it did, you know like I said before, like Ronnie's got a, he's got a great range I think in like whatever style he goes through. And oh my eye keeps twitching. I wasn't crying, damn it. Is my eye keep twitching? I don't know what's going on. Anyways, ah, so yeah. He does a hell of a good range. I mean, like, yeah, from the stories I've heard, yeah, he can be an ass here and there, but, I mean, really, I mean, we're all human. We all do things. We all do mistakes and this and this. He never really did anything f bad. I, I know whatever you hear, this and this, this just, just don't go by rumors or whatever the hell you hear. Just look for the truth yourself or just ignore it because he's a great artist. He's a good performer. And he's, it's proof right there, like, he normally does that hard rock, metalcore kind of usual stuff. I heard in the newer songs, they do like a mix of rap here and there too. So I'm going to probably check out one of the newer songs in the next video. Just because, like I said, I want to explore more into Fall in Reverse. Never really gave him a chance other than like this one CD. That well, it was okay, but it definitely felt like a follow-up to Escape the Fate. Like, if they were to continue with the second album with Ronnie, it would have felt like a follow-up from there. But... Yeah, so I'm going to explore more of that. Um, I'm going to find just a random video and just hit play and whatever the hell it is, I'll do a video for it. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one as well. Um, again, I don't want to give my full, full opinion on what, you know, like, you, you, you might have a different opinion than I do on this, how this feels, but I think this is pretty good. Like I said, it shows a good range that he can do and definitely a very, um, I, I, I definitely feel... Like I've been inspired a little bit to do a different different genre. Well, not not different genre, but explore different sounds in making music eventually. Just like I said, I want to learn how to figure out piano or at least keyboard if I ever get the chance. But that'll be another day. That'll be totally another day. So take care, everybody. Um, go watch this for yourself if you ever heard it. I mean, I know it's been out since a couple months now. But yeah, so it's pretty damn good. Or listen to the original. Or don't listen to it at all. It's okay. It's your opinion. Listen to what you feel like. But if you're on this video, enjoy it, okay? So, uh, take care.